what is up guys this is Tito back with another video and today in this video I'm gonna be reviewing the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon and this is the Gen 10 and this is the latest version of the laptop and this laptop has been sent to me by Lenovo for reviewing purpose the usage experience I'll share is my personal experience I am not being sponsored to talk good things about this laptop so if you want to deep dive with me for this Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 10 do watch the video till the end first things first let's talk about the first impressions after using this laptop well i have to say this is one of the most comfortable feeling laptop that i have seen and the whole body on top on the bottom everywhere it feels so much a smooth rubberish finish soft to touch so it is a lot more comfortable to hold this device in your hand or you are just putting this laptop in your lap or something so yeah everywhere it is a much more comfortable experience but I do have to mention one thing because of this black kind of color body. Yes, there are a couple of visible like smudges and stuff. So you have to keep that in mind. If you touch this laptop with a dirty hand or something or oily hand, you will see the smudges. You have to make sure you are touching it with a clean hand or otherwise you have to like keep a microfiber cloth or something close to you so that you can wipe any oily stuff that you put with your hand on the laptop. Otherwise, overall, the touch and feel of this particular laptop is amazing. And not to forget, yes, this is a premium laptop. This is not something which everyone needs or everyone wants. I would say this is a ThinkPad, so you know business people or corporate people and this laptop speaks premium in every way almost. Well talking about premium you might have heard other laptops which are premium aluminum and CNC cut and stuff. Well let's talk about the name. The top lid of this laptop is literally made out of carbon fiber and on the bottom part of course we are getting magnesium alloy or aluminium of course. That's the kind of build quality we are talking about over here. The overall build definitely feels a lot solid there is no flex or something or even on the top lid because of course carbon fiber one of the most strongest and lightest material in the keyboard as well there is not a lot of flex overall the build quality over here that you get is awesome let's talk about the hinge a little bit well the hinge definitely feels a lot solid like sometimes i have seen you cannot even like if even if you jerk this laptop it doesn't move the lid a lot so there is no wobble almost of the screen but the hinge quality even here is awesome and even you can open it with one single finger no issues whatsoever with opening with one hand or one single finger so that's again a really premium experience now talking about the normal opening and closing the laptop yes the boot time the sleep wake time and stuff it's marvelously fast once you open the lid it's already on and if you just tap the fingerprint you are in the home screen because this laptop also has a fingerprint scanner in the power button and of course it supports the windows hello kind of face unlock both are there like face unlock and fingerprint both options are there as this is a Lenovo ThinkPad this also has the military grade certification and stuff and you can actually use this laptop in a lot more extreme kind of temperatures you can just google Lenovo military grade a certification list which things you can do with this laptop where your MacBook shuts down this one will keep on working too high or too low temperatures this is a no problem for this particular laptop. That's what you get with a ThinkPad and a premium X1 Carbon. Let's talk about the specs a little bit. This one has a i7 12th gen and 1255U, 16 GB of RAM, LPDDR5. So yes, the memory is sorted. But yes, this is a quad channel memory we are looking at. So the memory is marvelously fast. Also has Intel Iris XC graphics and the display is a 14 inch 1080p but 16 inch to 10 get a little bit more screen real estate over here. The weight of the laptop, it's really, really light about 1.12 kgs. So you can get it's much lower than the 1.4 kg laptops. But this one is definitely one of the most lightest laptops with all these certifications and stuff. You need to keep that in mind because the build quality here is amazing. And this one also comes with a one tb gen 4 ssd of samsung and even the ram is of samsung so that's really fast too about 5000 plus read and writes so yeah definitely it's a fast ssd and the thickness well this one is about 15 millimeters thick 15.4 or something like that really thin laptop you can just slap it on your backpack and just go wherever you want and the charger let's talk about it the charger which comes with within the box it's a 65 watt fast charger it does support fast charging for about one hour if you plug it in it will charge about 0 to 80 percent without any issues yes i have tested that it is working perfectly fine if you want to full charge from 0 to 100 it will take about one and a half hours and it will be fully charged by the way the display is a ips panel has 60 hertz and 
I was expecting a little bit of high refresh rate, like about 90 would have been good. But yeah, this panel does not support that. The unit that I have over here has 60 hertz refresh rate. But yeah, this is a 1920 by 1200 because it's a 16 by 10 aspect ratio display. So the resolution is about like more than a little bit of 1080p on the tall side. And it has 99% sRGB and stuff. So very color accurate display. And the brightness of the display is 400 nits. Now let's talk about the battery life. Well, this one has a 57 watt hour battery. And with that, if you use the battery saver mode, of course, which you will use normally, this laptop can give you about nine to 10 hours of battery life. That's just awesome. I have charged this laptop like 5 p.m. yesterday, 100%. Right now, the time is about 3.15. So this has 34% battery left because I kept the screen on medium brightness. The battery life over here is amazing. You do not need to worry about the battery life of this laptop. And the charger, 65 watt hour fast charging, and that works perfectly fine. Within one and a half hours, it charges fully. No issues. It is a type C charger, by the way. And with the type C charger too, you can charge your smartphone or something. But yeah, I would have loved to see a normal phone like charger, but you still get a like power supply kind of charger where you get a brick. But yeah, this brick is really, really small. It's not big at all. It can weigh about 100 to 200 grams, I would say. So yeah, the charger isn't heavy but I would say it's a lot more messy. So maybe in the next generation Lenovo, I would love to see a normal phone like charger where you just get a normal brick which plugs in your socket and just a type C port. And are you wondering about charging cycles? Yes, you can also see that in this particular laptop with the Lenovo Vantage software, you can actually see your battery charging cycle. And when I received the laptop, I had almost three cycles on this laptop. Let's talk about the keyboard. This is one of the most important parts I feel about this laptop. The keyboard here is just top of the line and I would say if you are someone whose work involves a lot of typing, this is the one you choose over any other choice because this one has bigger kind of mechanical keys and it feels awesome while typing and the keys are a little bit like curvy to the bottom. And if you are familiar with the Lenovo keyboards, you will know the keyboard on this guy is amazing. I would say my experience has been awesome with this keyboard. So much satisfying experience for me and the typing experience on this laptop will be one of the best in this segment that i have to say the only con about the keyboard i would say it's the function key to the left there is the position for the control key right but the good thing is if you do accidental presses and stuff of this function and control lenovo has put a software kind of control in the input section on the vantage software you can swap it out with the control key so even if you press the function key it will act as control i have of course enabled that after you enable this option you need to press the control key for doing the function key stuff there is a track ball or track nipple i don't know how to say it but yeah the red it might be useful for someone who is doing a lot of presentation or something so yeah this just moves around the mouse like with your press so how hard you press the faster it goes so that's how it works yeah this is a gesture kind of ball now let's talk about the trackpad yes the trackpad when compared to other laptops here you will get a smaller one but you do get three separate buttons like mouse click buttons left right and center the mouse middle mouse button you can use it for that so all these three clicks on the top of the trackpad clicks are very satisfying again and even on the trackpad too you have clicks and it does support windows gestures like the windows precision gestures and stuff three finger four finger two finger all these gestures you can customize over here so no issues whatsoever with the gestures of this laptop trackpad definitely feels awesome it is premium it is made out of that magnesium alloy kind of thing but it does have that rubberish kind of comfortable feeling and yes it does feel awesome while doing the gestures and stuff and it is really fast no issues whatsoever there is no lags or something with this trackpad even though it's smaller than other ones it feels comfortable while using it now let's talk about the processor a little bit the i7 1255u which is present over here you can order this one or you can just choose from the lenovo's website while ordering other processors that you would like to use and of course there are other options like the 1240p or 1260p i guess so those options are also available so you can go for them as well while ordering this laptop but with this 1255 you you do get the 10 cores two are performance cores which also has four threads and the eight cores which are there are efficiency cores which are there for power saving literally so that's why you are getting amazing battery life out of this laptop if you are a normal user you can definitely get 
about 12 to 14 hours of battery life i would say with this if you do like tasks in powerpoint or in word excel etc work you do then you will get much more battery life let's talk about the connectivity of this laptop well you do get the wi-fi 6e so that's the latest wi-fi which is available right now i think and we have the bluetooth 5.2 and everything is very strong i have went to a different room even there i was getting my wi-fi 5 gigahertz signal pretty well i was getting 80 mbps so yeah pretty much i would say the speed and the overall experience with Wi-Fi, it's really, really strong. No issues whatsoever with the Wi-Fi connectivity on this particular laptop. There is no LAN port on this laptop, but you do get a dongle in the box, which is a USB-C to a LAN port, so you can use it if you are someone who likes to use LAN connection every time. Now let's talk about the USB ports. You do get two Thunderbolt 4 ports, which are USB-C, of course. Both of the USB-C ports are present on the left side. I think it's a bummer because I feel there should have been one USB-C on each side so that you can charge it from any side and you will also get two USB-A ports one on the left one on the right and they are USB 3.2 Gen 1. I would have loved to see USB 3.2 Gen 2 but yeah you do get Gen 1 and the right hand side USB-A port does support always on charging so even if you shut down your laptop you can charge your phone or something with that port so it will act as a power bank you can say it has one hdmi port hdmi port supports up to 4k 60 hertz good enough resolution i would say for supporting an external monitor and if you're talking about external monitors four monitors in total so with the thunderbolt ports you will get about 5k 60 hertz on three of the monitors that's too much monitor for a laptop but yeah it is a windows laptop for a reason and you do get sim card support over here you get dual sim one is eSIM, one sim card slot here and you can actually remove the slot but i am not really sure how to enable the sim card and stuff even if you put your sim i don't think it will be enabled you have to enable or activate it by paying some money to lenovo or something like that i don't i'm not really sure about that but yeah it has nano sim card and stuff so if your work involves a lot of traffic traveling that you will use LTE or something on your laptop you can do that over here one thing I do miss is a SD card slot I mean this is a work laptop I get it at least a micro SD card slot should have been present on this laptop I feel but you do not get that just forget about full size SD card slot for this kind of price Lenovo should have provided at least a SD card slot I feel let's talk about the speakers well really really loud I did not realize the speakers are so loud the sound quality over here is awesome it has bass and it is a lot louder than most laptops out there I would say and of course it has the Dolby Atmos speakers and even it has Dolby audio for microphones and stuff it has quad array mic so the mic quality is awesome I've used even my Bluetooth headsets I have used a wired headset the sound quality with this is awesome and of course it has a 3.5 mm headphone jack which also acts as a mic so you can connect your phone's headphone which includes a mic in that so you can use one single port for like listening to audio and the microphone in. The cooler is right here. We get two speaker grills right on the bottom. And also once you open the lid, you will see two speaker grills right here on the left and right. Here is a demo of the speaker quality. Now let's talk about the webcam quality well you do get a 1080p webcam and it is a really wide angle webcam i would say and by the way before using it i have updated all the drivers so don't think that it is on old drivers while i tested it so yeah i have updated every lenovo vantage and the intel driver updates that i have received the automatic framing is really interesting it just tracks you like this yes the quality decreases but just notice how wide angle this camera is if i just turn off the automatic kind of thing it's really really wide it's so much wider all right so the camera quality is really good it seems and i have enabled that lenovo's view kind of app and you can see the screenshots and you can actually enhance the quality in terms of video settings it shoots up to 1080p 30 fps and there are other resolutions you can see so this part of the video i'm recording with the camera straight out of the lenovo x1 carbon and you can just listen to the audio the mic quality and stuff you can guess and the camera i would say it's decent and yeah it's not bad but it should be a little better in my opinion the laptop cameras has been not that great for a long time but yeah this is decent i would say maybe not for complete professional use but for normal video calling and stuff or normal video conferencing this is good enough 
let's talk about the fan noise shall we well on this i would say even when you are doing heavy multitasking yes the fan noise is much much less because the fans are really teeny tiny you get to see i think two fans from the bottom vent and i would say the fan noise is one of the most silent fan noises that you will hear even if it's on high kind of load the fan noise is much much lesser when compared to other laptops and that's a really good thing even with normal like multitasking yes the laptop does get heated up because it's already summer time because the bottom is magnesium alloy so that will heat up even though it has the rubber coating you can feel the temperature sometimes when you're doing heavy multitasking one thing you have to keep in mind this is not a gaming laptop this is a thin and light laptop for business or work purpose now let's talk about video editing and photo editing and all this kind of work and i tried with a 1080p 50 fps footage same that i'm shooting with the canon 200d on my timeline there was only one or two layers 10 minutes kind of timeline with youtube's 1080p kind of preset in premiere i have tried to export it and that worked like in almost four minutes 33 seconds it took to export a 1080p 10 minutes timeline so you can guess about the performance of this laptop the video editing performance is amazing and even with photoshop and stuff the color quality is amazing 400 nits of brightness 99 percent srgb the color which are coming out with this display is awesome no issues you will have even while doing photo editing and stuff if you're a photo editor you can definitely consider it but yes this is an ips panel not a oled one and the display has anti-clear coating and stuff so it is not reflective at all now let's talk about gaming a little bit because i did try to do it but let me tell you how is the gaming performance with the intel iris xc kind of graphics well i was pretty surprised over here with valorant in 1080p low settings i could get about 90 to 120 fps when i was plugged in of course and if you remove the charger and stuff with that too you can get valorant working for about 50 to 60 fps i would say for this kind of processor it's fine but yes this is not a gaming laptop it will heat up while gaming because this is a 15 watt tdp kind of processor that you get i think over here now if you are wondering about the overall performance you want to get an idea about it you have to look at the benchmarks and here are the benchmarks on your screen i'll show you both benchmarks while it's plugged in and while it's on battery so pause it if you need it so i think i have tried to cover almost every aspect of using this laptop and after using this laptop for about a couple of days now how premium laptop feels i got the feel with this so light like 1.12 kgs you can just like it doesn't feel anything almost so yeah it's a premium laptop so it gives you the premium experience but let's talk about the pricing this is where things get a little bit like off ground i would say because this segment that you are looking at it's a macbook pro 14 inch kind of segment if you choose this kind of specs the same specs that i have over here i5 12 gen 1255u 16 gb lpddr5 ram 5200 megahertz 1 tb gen 4 ssd with all these things this laptop costs about 1.82 lakh yes that's a lot of money this is again a business or corporate kind of laptop that you will use for years and years where your most workload will be lighter but you need your laptop to work every time when you open the lid no matter the weather conditions the timing the temperatures outside what matters is your deal to work on your laptop whenever you need it so that's the kind of people it's for and i think for them this is one heck of an overall experience that you're getting with this particular laptop with the military grade and stuff all these certifications you will not get these with a macbook pro 14 and if you just look at the top of the line of this laptop that can go above 2 lakh 10 thousand so yeah this is a premium laptop and it does give you a premium experience in windows so even now if you're confused if you're looking for a thin and light laptop if it's for you or not if you're confused about that well let me put it this way yes you can get about like amazing laptops for about 60,000 where the laptop actually weighs 1.12 kgs you need a really amazing build quality the top lid which will be made out of carbon fiber that will not get for 60,000 the military grade certifications in extreme weather conditions it will work that you will not get for 60,000 so this is where the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 carbon shines so if you want your laptop to be working in any weather conditions and stuff then this is the one for you you don't care about the price you just care about it working and working well and with the i7 12th gen the performance is really good for about i would say more than five to six years this laptop will work pretty well it has the fingerprint scanner it has the face unlock 
it has all the sensors and stuff all the security kind of things are here as well and this one also has a kensington slot if you need that yes this one does have it but one thing i have to mention here that with this particular budget i would have loved to see a oled display over here but i think oled displays are not that like kind of stable or it may or may not work in like extreme weather conditions that's why maybe lenovo went with this ips display which they know it will work even in extreme weather conditions i think because of that they didn't go for oled display the display's brightness here it's really really bright no issues as you can see i have a really bright monitor over here and still i can make the brightness go a lot more this is the full brightness and yes it's a lot brighter and the screen is really really good looking no issues whatsoever with the like brightness and quality of the screen i would say one of the most beautiful looking screens that Lenovo has put over here so i would say if you're in this budget and if you're looking for a segment like this where you will get one of the most lightest one of the best build quality windows laptops this is the one you should choose so let me in the comments what you guys think about this review give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet share this video with your friends if they want to know about a business laptop in this kind of price segment definitely share this video out with them thank you so much for watching this video guys this is tito from kdindex signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now